Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Ah, oh, it's good to be back. It really is good to be back. So I'm just going to head out a little further away from the coast. Um, then talk to you guys because this place is a little crowded and there's a few other paddle boarders so we'll get somewhere a little more secluded shall we somewhere there there's less people so i'm just going to follow the coast over there uh, and then i'll say my hellos and uh, how are you doing there we are it's a little better we're further out of the coast of uh, pembrokeshire so um we're nice and on our own peace and quiet there's nothing like paddling on the coast of Pembrokeshire. It never gets old and I'm at a different location this time uh, and I'm on my paddleboard. So two wins today, two new things. Well not new things but <laughs> uh, for the past few weeks uh, every time it's sunny we kind of come out and paddle some of the Pembrokeshire coast. If you haven't seen some of our other videos then you can watch those if you'd like but today I decided to come with somewhere different. I haven't got too long just because I've come out just after work so I've got a few hours to kind of play around with um, it's not very often that um, Pembrokeshire Little and Wales gets this amount of sun uh, or this hot anyway it's around the 20 25 degrees mark so um, I'm going to enjoy this moment while I can because it won't last long I promise you that it's been nice for the last three days actually uh, and then after that I've got uh, things to um, be doing so I can't exactly go out during those times, even if it is sunny. So I'm going to take this moment to uh, get out on my paddleboard, which is what I've been wanting to do. I've been dying to do this uh, this year. And it, the weather has just been dull, miserable, um, this, especially this summer. Uh, we haven't had much sun at all. And if we have, I've been locked indoors looking after Cameron's dogs. So I've taken this moment to embrace the sun and all its glory and go out on my paddleboard that I've missed so much. I've missed you. Oh, it's been so long. Uh, he, it still has this going on, uh, which hasn't been an issue yet. Um, it doesn't seem to deflate uh, with this. I think it's just air that's been trapped in between the two layers. So uh, until it actually does become a problem, then I will fix it. And until then, it will just hiss for all time. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's a little jellyfish. Hi. I think he's been chopped up a little bit. Poor thing. Um, but yeah, as I've been paddling out here, I've actually noticed that there's quite a few jellyfish actually um, this time of year. So that's nothing surprising. It's just been a while since we've actually paddled. So I'm surprised at je jellyfish, that's all. But we're going to go explore the coast a little bit. I'm going to go in that direction, I think. Um, just because I started on this side of the beach and we've explored a little bit over there anyway. Uh, and that direction is kind of uh, Ch Church Doors Cove uh, and all that uh, kind of shebang. So I thought we'd do something different and go this direction. Because why not? I could do whatever I want, can't I? You come along. You have no choice in the matter. So shall we head off in this direction before I get taken out with the current? Ah! And see what we find. Uh, I'm hoping there might be a few uh, places I can maybe jump off of and go for a swim. That would be very nice indeed. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, there is a speedboat going around. I can hear it. So I'm going to be mindful of it and make sure I <laughs> don't get in its way. But it's fast and so it should go out of my way. If anything, it should go around me. But we'll see. Um, was tempted not to go without the wetsuit. But again, the weather in this country is very hit or miss because now that I've said it's super sunny and nice and warm, there's clouds going in front of the sun. Isn't that a great? So it's getting a little colder, so I'm glad I bought the wetsuit. There's a bit of a wind uh, out here too. So if I do get cold, I also have a few extra bits and bobs here so that I don't run into situations like that where I'm cold and I'm wanting to get back. So just things you learn along the way. I've bought my life jacket as well. Well, not life jacket, my um, buoyancy aid. So that should help, hopefully help me as well in uh, sticky situations. You should always bring it if you're doing something like this, even if you are a professional. I know we kind of forgot it the last time we went out. That was our fault. That was us being silly. You should always bring some form of a uh, buoyancy aid or life jacket with you because you never know what you'll uh, run into and the weather is unpredictable so you'll you'll always run into some kind of situation that you're like oh 
whoops, I wish I brought this or that. So yeah, but enough of me jibber jabbering. How is everyone else doing? I hope you are all doing very well and have been enjoying the content that we're bringing out. Apologies again if we've missed a few weeks here or there. It's just getting increasingly difficult to do things when you have uh, stuff going on in your personal life. So I hope you guys understand that and still enjoy the stuff that we do bring out uh, when we bring it out. Uh, this one is just a personal uh, preference of mine that I get to do. This is me um, spoiling myself really and bringing you guys along to enjoy it with me because I will do it once and I'll do it every time. Who doesn't like the Pembrokeshire coast? It's stunning, it's gorgeous and I'll gush over it every time. I will miss it if I ever do leave because it is something special that we have around here. It really is something you can't find elsewhere, really. Ooh, loads of jellyfish! Whoa! I see this is where they're all collecting because this is where the sea is kind of getting stuck. But I hope you guys can see all the jellyfish. There's like a cluster of four over here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, I did want to go for a swim, but this kind of is encouraging me not to. But look at the jellyfish! We might be very lucky. We get like a few set of jellyfish, kind of the same ones each year. Um, so these ones, I believe, are the moon jellyfish. So you can tell by the little pink circles on the top. Uh, the four, four circles, I believe. That's one way you can tell that it's, it's a moon jellyfish. Uh, and it usually doesn't have much colour going on to it at all, it's quite transparent so it's quite easily identifiable. Uh, this sting, not that bad at all. They're quite uh, tame little guys I believe. Um, oh, here we go look, we got a different jellyfish over here. So this is the other type, this is quite small actually considering it's probably a baby, a baby of its kind. So the way, this one, like I said, is a little baby version of uh, a compass jellyfish, so the way to tell it's a compass, it has the little brown uh, markings on the top, kind of like little uh, lines um, around a circle, so like a little sun um, symbol <laughs> is what I kind of see it as. So, and it's always brown um, with its main body being white, so that's how you can identify a compass. They're usually a lot larger with longer tendrils. I spotted another one actually. This one's a little tiny bit bigger, but really not oh, that's underneath me. Not that much different. Where did it go? Where did it go? It was underneath me now it's gone. Hello? I've lost him. But there's millions. There's loads of little moon jellyfish everywhere. They're everywhere. I'm hoping the GoPro can kind of pick this up. There's loads, I've never seen this many. Little small ones and then bigger ones. Oh my god! I'm... See, this is when you know summer is around the corner because these guys start coming out everywhere. Uh, but there's two other ones that I usually see. Uh, so we've had the moon, the compass, uh, and then the other two that is commonly found around here is the barrel jellyfish uh, and the blue jellyfish or purple, whatever colour they call it now. It's like a bluey purple toned jellyfish all the way around uh, and then the barrel ones are massive massive jellyfish whitish transparent top uh, thick tendrils and stuff like that so they're, they're big contenders but I believe this thing doesn't hurt as much I believe if I remember correctly um, I know all their names the uh, danger level is <laughs> Something I need to refresh on. We're gonna go and paddle past all of them <laughs> and get somewhere that's a little less jellyfish ridden uh, so I can swim. Because as much as I am fascinated by jellyfish and their whole being, uh, I don't like touching them. No, I don't like touching them. Uh, same with seaweed, don't like touching seaweed. Yuck, gross. So we're gonna stay away from them. Finding a bit of a clearer spot to enjoy um, and go for a swim. Oh, hi, jellyfish! God, they're everywhere. Leave me alone. <laughs> I know this is your home. I'm sorry. 
we'll have a bit of an explore, a bit of a gander around here. See what uh, we can see. The sun is high in the sky. I'm not going to look up because it will hit my eyes. Let's enjoy our time while we can. Um, if there's any places you guys would like us to go, if you have any ideas where you'd like us to go visit and explore, please let us know. And uh, we can definitely see if we can fit it in our schedule. Um, ooh, I'm going closer to the coast and the waves are taking me. So I'm going to go a little away from the rocks because that's a bad idea. Inflatable thing plus rock equals bad time. Bad time. So yeah. If there's any places you'd like us to go, please feel free to leave a comment. We are always up for exploring places, even if we've visited it before. Um, but you'd like us to go again, there might be stuff we've missed or anything like that, then yeah, more than happy to go. For right now, uh, I am in Freshwater East, or at least I've come off the beach of Freshwater East, uh, and I'm going I'm following the coast to its right if you're facing the water so I think I'm going south following it west uh, I think <laughs> if my geography is as good as I think it is we'll uh, head in this direction and see what we find shall we stop off at um because if i do go for some now my paddleboard is gonna glide away from me <laughs> and that's one thing i haven't invested in yet is i want to get a an anchor for my paddleboard so then if i did want to just stop off somewhere like by these rocks or something to go for a swim or sit and stuff like that then i don't have to worry about my paddleboard uh gliding away from me um so that might be something I invest in at some point. Uh, currently, I'm, I'm all right right now. So, um, but yeah, I don't see any beach for a while right now. So, unless there's like a little cove tucked in away somewhere. Or <laughs> the beach that's like miles away from me. <laughs> Just go explore, go back to Freshwater East. Um, and then go swim there just because I am a bit cautious of my paddleboard gliding away from me. Oh, that's the last thing I want right now. So we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. I do see like a little covey bit here, um, but every time I get close to the rocks, it gets a bit choppy. So I'm just trying to be a bit cautious of where I go and stuff like that because it's been a while since I've been out on my own. Um, I don't want any accident to happen. <laughs> On my first time back out, so let's try and keep accidents to a minimum. Oh no. Just another set of rocks that have probably fallen down from the cliff uh, and landed here. So let's keep moving forward. There might be some place hidden away that I can go to, but if not, like I said, we'll just head back. Because this is just me enjoying my time and not having to do anything too strenuous. I hope you guys have been enjoying our content. We've done a few new things. Uh, this year that we've been super excited to try or have had have been waiting in the works so I believe the video before this will be us camping for the first time so it's not like the first time we've ever gone camping it's just the first time we've ever probably gone camping on camera for you guys um, and have gone camping in a while the last time I went camping was with my previous job but hopefully in the future now we'll have 
more kind of that type of content coming out. Uh, it depends how the weather's looking and how time uh, is looking for us. It was just some, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. I've wanted to kind of do the whole coastal path and camp uh, and do it all in one go. So that's kind of an idea that um, we've had in the works. Um, so if you see that coming out, then you won't be surprised because I told you. But there's other stuff that um, I've been wanting to do uh, and get my hands on. And whether Cameron joins along is another question. He seemed somewhat <laughs> all right when we did go camping the first time. Uh, so he might be keen to do some of the stuff I have in mind and I'm sure he has stuff in mind too so stay tuned for some of the stuff we've got coming out I see another kind of indent here in the cliff see if, uh, if we go around it's a little more uh, secluded and got a beach or at least something <laughs> that I can put my paddleboard down and go for a swim nope, still more rocks I don't see anywhere I can pop this down um, in terms of going for a swim. Oh, more jellyfish. Hi guys, how's it going? Hi. I'm hoping the next few days kind of start to look a little more like this. Uh, we've only got one month left of summer, really, um, when you look at it. We're uh, nearing the end of July, August is just around the corner. So, fingers crossed. Our summer actually starts to look a little bit more like this because it has been dull and dreary um, and I've been wanting to get out on this bad boy for a very long time. It's nice to finally get her use out of it um, and hopefully we'll be taking it around different spots in Pembrokeshire, maybe even out of um, Pembrokeshire, Wales, um, do some parts in the UK with my paddleboard because that's an idea I've had as well. It's just again, things get in the way. but. Um, trying to brush up back on my uh, knowledge of paddleboarding and stuff like that. It's been a while since I've been out, uh, even kayaking, uh, just forgetting all the things <laughs> that come along with it is quite interesting. I thought it would all be stuck in my head, but apparently not. Um, but I'll head back to the beach and we'll go for a bit of a swim and stuff like that and enjoy what the beach actually has to offer and get away from these damn jellyfish. Go away, go away. Damn, that was big moon jellyfish come back the one thing i wish i brought with me actually is my snorkel i did not bring that i left that at home sadly um honestly i didn't think i'd be going out today is uh my main excuse <laughs> um so we'll uh i'll have to bring that out again there's a few locations around uh Pembrokeshire that i do actually want to take my snorkel um so when i do go visit those locations i'm hoping to have it with me but um this one would have been a nice one. I feel like it's not as clear as I, uh, it usually is just because of the motion of the ocean. <laughs> you can see where all the little waves and stuff are coming in, so that's going to bring up sediment and stuff like that. Um, but enough of me jibber-jabbering. I'm sure you have had enough of me talking now. Um, so why don't we just head back to the, uh, the beach and um, pop my paddleboard down and go for a swim. How about that? really tempted just to jump off my paddleboard here and go for a swim and just as I say that the sun goes behind the clouds how rude because I'm, I'm quite close to the beach now so I'm not too worried I'm hoping it's not too cold <laughs> I haven't been on the water in a while so this is going to be very interesting I'm hoping my paddleboard doesn't flip otherwise I'm going to lose all my stuff oh god this is going to be interesting I have a feeling I'm going to be very cold if you're gonna jump with a paddle, stick it under your bungee. That's what I've learned. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, am I gonna do it? Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh my god, it's cold! <laughs> oh, it's been so long! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's way colder than I thought it'd be actually. Well, that's probably because the sun's just gone in. Oh, and I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> oh, the question is, can I get back on? Oh, it's never graceful. Oh. For as long as you go on, you're on. Oh my God. <laughs> well, that was interesting. I kind of want to run off the front. <laughs> uh, and see what the GoPro gets actually. I'm going to have to turn you around though. 
If I run off the front though, I've got all this stuff in my way. So I'll try and be very careful. I'm also getting very close to the rocks. So I can't just sit here and wait. I just gotta go. I guess I just gotta go, don't I? Oh. <laughs> that was very refreshing. <laughs> oh, man, I probably look like a right mess right now. <laughs> oh, but I, I've been wanting to do that for ages. Um, and I can see now that there's a bunch of clouds going behind the sun. Behind the sun? In front of the sun. So I can feel the chill now. But uh, the reason I did this last thing is so that if I did get cold, I can run back to my car. So there's the beach there with a bunch of million people enjoying the beach and the sand. But how about before this current takes me all the way back out again? So this is how quick it's taken me and why my paddleboard decided to leave me. Plus I ran from the front, so that didn't help either. Let's go over back to the beach. I remember as I was getting changed and setting up my paddleboard, there was an ice cream van. So maybe if we're lucky, I don't know how long he stays, uh, <laughs> but we'll uh, <laughs> we'll go back and um, see if we can get some ice cream or something because I have not had food apart from lunch all day long. So uh, it's good to be back. <laughs> So I packed up the paddleboard, it's all put away nice and tidy. I've gotten changed out of my wetsuit. Um, I was gonna get an ice cream, but the card machine is broken um, and I don't have any money on me. I spent it on the parking. So um, the sad part is it's time to go home. Um, I'll probably go for a shower, get myself refreshed, uh, and then do a little show for you guys. I might get food on the way. Who knows? <laughs> um, I'm going to be at Cameron's today, so I'll see what kind of food is available and then um, go from there. But uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. Hello everyone. Um, I may have forgotten to do an outro when I got to Cameron's, so uh, here I am. Um, but if my memory served me well, I think the last thing I was going on about was uh, having a shower and having food. So technically I've done those two things. So still kind of on the same page. <laughs> that all aside, it is the end of the video guys, but um, I hope you enjoyed. Sorry this was a little more of me rambling and uh, just having a bit of fun. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to take you guys with me, so there wasn't too much uh, planning involved for this one, so I apologise for that, but I hope you enjoyed either way. I got to go on my paddle board, which is uh, a win in my eyes, so that was kind of the whole idea I wanted, uh, but I didn't have a lot of time because I went after work, so. But if you have reached the end of the video, uh, thank you so much. Um, if you could just like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, and hopefully we will see you next Monday for another video. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Bye.